All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a Mongolian beef and starting our venture into Chinese food. So if you wanna see how we get there, make sure you watch the video all the way through and do it till you get to the end. All right? Go ahead and go on your YouTube bar, click on the red subscribe button, and then ring the bell to get notified of all the new videos that are coming out. You can be on top of everything. All right, let's jump back into it, shall we? I'm grumpy. Welcome to another episode of Grumpy Y'all Law Kitchen, where today we're doing Chinese food. Hey, by luck, we're doing Panda Express style, yeah? And today we're doing Mongolian beef. So if that's your vibe, you might want to go ahead and hang off for the ride. Without further ado, let's make bad choices. Then, yeah, first thing we're going to need is leek. After that, we're going to need cornstarch, of course, our main star, our flank steak, followed by a little garlic, some ginger, brown sugar, soy fuck, of course, and a little bit of, you know, veggie oil. Let's make magic. All right, so now what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and start chopping up and peeling your uh, ginger. And after you get your ginger peeled, you want to go ahead and start dicing and mincing it up real fine like. But you only need a little bit. Ginger goes a long, long way. All right? Then you want to go ahead and start chopping up your leek. And you need the bottom part, you don't need the green. So make sure that when you're cutting it, you don't get the green part, just a little bit of the bottom. All right, when you have your flank steak, you wanna go ahead and cut it with the grain. So you wanna follow the length of the meat. You'll see a little line down the meat. You wanna cut down that line and it's gonna help you with your, uh, your cut. All right, after you go ahead and chop up your Mongolian beef meat, you're gonna go ahead and put it in the bag, take it out of the bag, and you're gonna go ahead and put it in your pan or wok and start to saute that until you get it to a nice golden brown color. Make sure when you lay it in there, you don't crowd the meat. And if you need an extra couple turn to do it, do that, but never crowd the beef. After that, you're gonna let it rest and keep all the juice and the oil in the pan for the rest of our ingredients to go in there and cook afterwards. meat gets almost all the way through done cooking, you want to pull it off and put it to a separate container so you can make your sauce and add your meat back in when your sauce is made, that way you can finish cooking everything. Now you want to add your water, your soy sauce, your brown sugar, your ginger, and your salad. And you're going to mix this all together to make your sauce. You're going to need one third cup of soy sauce one third cup of brown sugar, one third cup of shallots, and two teaspoons of ginger, and a third cup of water. I'm gonna cook that down. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our meat and start putting it into our sauce and let it finish cooking. Just like that. If you need to add cornstarch, you can to get more thickness out of your sauce. Otherwise, go ahead and finish it. We finished our Mongolian beef, and what we have for you is quick, easy, 
tape. I'm going in B. All right, if you lasted this long watching my video, why don't you do yourself a favor and click the subscribe button followed by liking, and then leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. I'll see you next time. I'm grumpy. I'll holler.